Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to create this look for you guys. This look was inspired by the Christmas angel slash snow angel, snow princess, snow, snow queen, winter, all of the above. I'm absolutely loving this look. It's so angelic and ethereal and I love it. This look is a collab with Beauty Brigade. She was sweet enough to reach out to me on Instagram and asked if I would like to do a collab and I was like, let's do it. I will link all of her information down below so make sure to check her out. If you are new to this channel, coming over from Beauty Brigade's channel, welcome. And while we're at it, go ahead and click that subscribe button on my channel as well. Subscribing is completely free, by the way, just letting you know. So if you guys are interested in this look, just keep on watching. All right, first things first, pull back that hair. Now we can get started. Here I'm using a ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in Sailor. It's this really beautiful duochrome glitter eyeshadow. I'm just applying that all over the lids. Here I'm taking my Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay and using the color Limit. I'm putting that all in the crease to blend out any harsh edges from the ColourPop shadow. And then I'm going in with Nooner towards the outer edge of the crease just to create a little bit more depth to the look. Now I'm going in with these two NYX Prismatic eyeshadows in Girl Talk and in Frostbite. And I'm mixing the two and applying that on my brow bone and inner corner. And then I'm going in with this Ofra Cosmetics You Glow Girl highlighter just to highlight a little bit more and I'm dragging that on the inner third of the bottom lash line as well. Taking a clean, fluffy crease brush, I'm just blending everything out, making sure everything is flawless. And then I am going in with this NYX glitter glue and a loose glitter that I got a long time ago. It's from the brand Angel Dust. It doesn't have a color or anything, but this glitter is so beautiful. It shifts like to a lilac and a light baby blue and pink and it's just so beautiful. Make sure you do one eye at a time so that the glitter glue doesn't fully dry down. I'm tight lining with the NYX Choi Jolie eyeliner in black and then on my waterline I'm going to use the ColourPop Get Paid eyeliner. And then right in the center of my waterline. I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner in Nude just to make my eyes look even bigger and more innocent and doughy eyed. Then I'm going to go in with this Mikey Beauty Cosmetics gel eyeliner and create a wing. <laughs> As you can see, I was a little nervous about this part, so just take your time and you really don't want to brush doing winged eyeliner, especially with gel eyeliner because it's super hard to get off and it'll mess up the glitter that you have below. So just take your time. Then I'm going to go back in with Nooner from the Naked 3 palette and smoke out the bottom lash line. And then go in with the color Factory to connect the eyeliner to the bottom lashes. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrows very lightly using a Winky Lux brow pencil. You want to go pretty light during this part because you don't really want big bold brows uh, when doing a very ethereal angelic look. And then I just curled my lashes and applied some mascara. This is one from Make It Forever. It's called the Excessive Lash. I'm just going to pop on some lashes. These are called Camellias by Kiss. And the lash glue is also from Kiss. While I'm waiting for the glue to get tacky, I'm going to take some tape and pick up any stray glitter on my face.
here I'm just applying some lotion on my face. I want my skin to be looking very dewy and glowy, so hydration is a must. For my T-zone, I'm going to apply my favorite primer, the Benefit Professional. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to apply the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Then I am applying this Wet n Wild Cushion Highlighter in Who's That Pearl on my cheekbones and T-zone before I apply foundation to create a glow from within. For foundation, I'm going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the color 05 or Warm Beige. And to make the foundation more dewy, I'm going to mix in a few drops of this Liquid Glow Highlighter by Temptu. When applying foundation, I always start with a brush to get the most coverage and then blend it out further with a beauty sponge for a flawless finish. Next, for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. Before I set my concealer, I'm going back in with the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlighter in Who's That Pearl and slightly dab that on my cheekbones and T-zone just to create more of a glow. Okay, so now I'm going to set the concealer using the Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder for extra brightness. Then I am setting the rest of my face using the Physician's Formula Arganware Light Bronzer. This bronzer is obviously way too light for my skin to be used as a bronzer, but it has a beautiful sheen to it which makes the face look very luminous. The only con about this product is the smell. It doesn't smell bad, but the smell is so overwhelming. It's like super perfumed. <laughs> Just FYI. Now taking the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee, I'm going to very slightly contour my face to bring back some definition. You don't want this look to be too chiseled because that will take away from the angelic vibe. Angels have more delicate features. At least that's how I picture them. <laughs> For blush, I'm applying this Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink, right on the apples of the cheek and slightly sweeping backwards. Now, for that ultimate glow, I'm going in with that Ofra Cosmetics You Glow Girl Highlighter. Make sure you tap off the excess because this highlighter is very intense.
I'm going to line my lips using the NYX Waterproof Lip Liner in Nude Pink. This is my absolute favorite lip liner. You have got to try it. I wanted the lips to reflect the colors of the glitter on my eyes, so I slightly dabbed on the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks in Vibrant Violet and Lust for Blush. Then to create more dimension, I used the Pretty Vulgar Liquid Lipstick in My Lips Are Sealed and placed it right in the center. And then on top of all of that, I added a high shine gloss to create very youthful, juicy looking lips. Ta-da! To lock in the look, I used my Cover FX Illuminating Spray. Make sure you shake this very well or else the glitter particles in the spray will not disperse evenly. I wanted an overall glow so I'm adding some more of that Ofra highlighter that we used for the face on my neck and decollete area. Ugh, this dress was getting on my nerves. Oh my gosh. If you're wondering, this dress is from Papaya. I will leave all of my clothing descriptions and jewelry details and all of that down in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. So this is the final makeup look. You can definitely stop here, but of course, I want it to be a little extra. So I'm taking these tiny iridescent gemstones that I got from Amazon and placed one in each inner corner of the eye and then three below the wing of the liner. Now these suckers are hard to pick up so I used my ColourPop eyeliner to pick them up. You can use any crayon, liner, or wax pencil to pick up these small gemstones. I really liked adding the gemstones to the look. I feel like they added a little bit more glam. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! This look is a collaboration with Beauty Burgray. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> this look is in collaboration with Beauty Burgray. Burr, oh. Beauty Burgray. Beauty, beauty, beauty Brigade. <sighs> I feel like I need wings. I don't have any wings. Look at this. Look at this dress though. <laughs> Cute. That looks really weird. That one. There you go. This should be my thumbnail. <laughs>